Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here. Welcome back to another episode of this Pez 2021 Master League save here with the Mighty Whites and Leeds United. And in today's episode, we're going to take on Fulham, Wolves and West Ham. If you didn't see the last one, go back and watch it. We did deadline day and we picked up our first two wins of the season. Hopefully we can keep that going. If we could go on a run of form now, it could see us massively climb up the table. These are three games that I would definitely say we need to be winning if we want to be a Europa League side. Wolves, Fulham, West Ham, definitely teams we want to be beating if we want to be a Europa League side. Let's get into it. First of all, I believe we've got a transfer offer. We do indeed. It's from Everton for Matthias Click. And I do not know if I should keep him or not. He doesn't play that often anymore. It is a shame that this is the situation we're in. But he doesn't play that often anymore. So it's kind of a... At the moment, he's a backup. And now he can stay a backup until January. And then we can sign another centre mid. Because we do have Willock now who could play there as well. I am going to renegotiate it. Obviously, I'm going to try and squeeze out more pe more pennies. More pennies. Uh, and see how much money we can get for him. But I don't know. He just doesn't get that much game time. And I think if we could sign a youngster in his place, uh, bring some money in, yeah, it makes sense to me. It makes sense. This will be the lineup for the Fulham game. They do have Mitrovic up top, so I'm expecting long balls pumped forward to him as often as possible. They're not that good in defence, are they? They just... I don't know. I don't want to jinx it because it's first game of the day. But it could be a good one, this one. Fulham will kick this one off. We are instantly going to go attacking. They're instantly going to go defensive. Now, this is going to be a good test of us this year because when we've played against sides that have played defensive in the past, I've very much struggled against them. They're going to try and lift this one in instantly, but I read that nicely with Lissama. When we've gone up against sides that have played defensive, that have sat in... Di what are you doing, Cherokee? What was that from Cherokee? Not a clue. Answers on a postcard. Uh, but anyway, when we played against sides that have sat in deep, we've tended to struggle to mount a good enough offense in order to beat them. Let's see if we could change that one today as I try and find Rodrigo instantly. Let's see if we could change that today. Is Rodrigo going to win this back? He is not going to win it back. We'll try and win it back with Jeremy Doku. Again, the usual press from us. Trying to win the ball back at any opportunity to catch them out. Has got to be the plan. They've got a lot of height, haven't they? Keep going. We'll fire that one up. Rodrigo. Oh, Jeremy Doku would keep making the run, but he decided against it. And they give the ball away there. That's interesting play out from the back here from Fulham there. Living on the edge, to say the least. Living on the edge. Rodrigo will pick this up now. Luke Ayling. Go on, Jeremy. Oh, it wasn't the greatest of passes, was it? Adrobayo is going to get there. And he will take it out for a corner to Leeds United. Well, let's whip this one in. See what we could do. Sulemana is going to be in there. Doesn't matter. They've got more than enough height. Height that we do not have on our team, unfortunately. We are not tall. We are, in fact, very short, really, aren't we? But uh, it is what it is. Alan fires it through. Rodrigo, maybe first time shot. Oh, what a save that is from the goalkeeper. That is a wonderful save from the goalkeeper. I thought that was going to be 1 0 Leeds United. Banging on the door nicely, though. Turkey. Doku. Ailing, maybe. He's won it back. Rodrigo. Fire off the shot. It's not a bad shot in the end. It's not a bad shot in the end. Nice play from us. Luke Ailing there, getting in nice and strong. We are. We're banging on the door. I just need to find the back of the net. I think if we get one, they'll go on the attack and it'll bring them right out. But we need to get the, the one first, don't we? We've got a corner, though. Let's see what we could do. Had a few moments from corners. Again, it, it's the same situation from the corners. We lack with height, so you're never going to have the best of times on a Sulemana looping header. Goes over. Just got under it a bit too much. Oh, they're piling forward now. Fulham, Cavalero. 1-0 Fulham. The first opportunity in the game. They've sat deep all match. And on the counter-attack, they've broken us down. And it'll be 1 0 Fulham, and it's been all Leeds United, absolutely all Leeds United, but Fulham take the lead, and it's the same old story. We can't break down these sides, and they counter and score. Jeremy Doku now. Waited. Suleimana, surely! Surely! Oh my god! How have we not scored there, Suleimana? Oh, it's still 1-0, and this is absolutely wonderful from us. Great from Jeremy Doku, but come on, Suleiman, and not straight at the keeper. He has two bites at it as well. Oh, it's still 1-0, Fulham. 
Well, there we go. It's going to be half time and it's going to be 1 0 Fulham. And I've just absolutely lost words because I don't know how we've got here. We, I don't know how we've won. We've not scored. And then we've just scrappily given away a goal on the counter attack. We've had five shots free on target. Obviously, dominated the game, really. They've had more possession. They have one shot. Boom. Teams have been clinical against me this season, man. So the man and out. This time to Jeremy Doku with a shot. Oh, my God. The keeper saved it again. What are these keepers made of on Pez? What are these keepers made of on Pez? Because they save absolutely everything. Everything. This is nice play again. Jeremy Doku with the goalkeepers down there. I don't even know who the fella is in the net. I don't even know who he is. He's got a weird name. Oh, well, Rigo will whip this corner in. We're going to go with the dash again. I quite like the dash. Let's whip it in. It's not a good one. Cavalero, get up there. Frustrating. Frustrating, just as frustrating as this game's been so far because we can't score a goal. Alan Suleimana now trying to find Cherky. Cherky Rigo tries to turn on it though. There's just so many bodies back. Can Jeremy Doku win it? Or Suleimana? No, neither of them can. Lissama now trying to lift that one forward to Rodrigo. Can't find him. Back to Lissama. I'll have to try and work this one a little bit more cutely now. Alan. And I'm, I'm kind of asking the question to myself here. What has uh, Jerky done in this match? I haven't seen him do much. Jerry Doku! And another great save from the goalkeeper. A little bit straight at the keeper there, but another save from him. Jerky. Finds Rodrigo. He finds Jerry Doku. Surely this time drags it just wide. <laughs> drags it just wide. And it is still 1-0 Fulham. And they must be wondering how it's still 1-0 Fulham. And this is wonderful play from us again. Great play, to be honest with you. Doku's in. <sighs> he pulls it just wide. The double sub, Rowe will come on. And Smith Rowe will come on. Not overly happy with Cherky and Suleimana in this one. Suleimana more because of him squandering such a great opportunity. Cherky's kind of not even been in the match. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Leeds United will lose this 1-1-0. One, one, I find it really crazy that I'm saying that because I don't know how we've lost this 1-0. Oh, my God, their goalkeeper. Their goalkeeper. Let's look. Let's look at the stats for this game. Nine shots, six on target. Four and two for them. And, oh, my God. We need to get more clinical in front of goal. Well, so, really, they're teams we need to beat, and we just cannot be letting them get away with it like that. We just, we've got to take our chances. We had that last season. We struggled to score a lot of goals. We, we really had that problem last year. That is an awful 1 0 defeat in the way that the game went. It worked very well in Fulham's favour. Everton are willing to pay the extra for Mateus Click, so that will be him gone. And it's sad because I hate seeing the old guard go, but it's just a deal that makes sense for now. I've changed the team around for this Wolves game. Jelovic is going to get his first start up top. Rowe will get his first start at left wing. Cresswell's going to come in as well just because he's, he's super, super duper blue arrow up and um, it'll help him progress a little bit more. See what we can do. They're playing free at the back. I couldn't break down Fulham. They played a normal back line, so let's see how we do against Wolves, who play free at the back. I just... We need to take those chances. Suleimana's missed chance was shocking. And then we had several that were on target, but just a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. I'm thinking in my head, maybe should I try and use the finesse shot a little bit more? It might place it better. Because um, it, it's learning the angle of getting it past the goalkeeper, but still on target. Home game as well, so we'll kick it off. Some new players for us to see. Joe Willock, obviously, starting as well with Smith Rowe in there. Hopefully, they can have a, uh, a decent game together. But I just want a better performance, to be honest with you. That's nice to Willock. Willock will push that on to Rafinha instantly here. Rafinha with a shot straight in the under area of Willy Bolly, I believe, there. But we're going to have a free kick here. It's in a good position for Rafinha. I like trying these. I like taking these on. Let's see what we can do with it. Rafinha, just over the bar. Only just over the bar. He hit it well, but he went over the bar. We're getting better at these three kicks. Now we try. All right. Eddie and Ketia now, and what a save from the goalkeeper that is. It was a tight angle for him, but he still managed to get his shot off. Corner now, Wolves, and they are playing attacking as well. So 
I don't know if that bolds well for us. That'll go straight through. I don't want to go a goal down early doors because it's very rare that we can score more than one. And I want to win this match. Eddie and Ketty are there. We'll lose out to Calvin Phillips. And now they've got some bodies committed forward. I, I don't have any bodies to help Calvin Phillips, though. We will try and put that one through to Jelovic. He will try and poke it through to Rowe for 1-0. Oh, he's dragged it wide. He's dragged it wide. Should have been 1-0 Leeds United and Rowe's first goal for the club. Link up between him and Jelovic is a good ball from Calvin Phillips in the end. He just pulls it wide, going for that bottom corner. Corner now for Wolves. They're dangerous in these positions, but Cresswell is no short man. And he does well there. I don't know what that was, but Rowe's coming forward now with the ball. See what he can do. Don't have tons of options. Jelovic, I would have preferred to have been in the centre. I am going to find Jelovic in the end. He heads it miles wide. Oh, I haven't got my aiming boots on today, have I, for the shooting? This is a wonderful bit of play from Rower. It's a nice ball in, but it's a terrible header. Free kick now to Wolves. It's been a bit of a stalemate this so far. Willock will get to it. Yeah, been a bit of a stalemate this so far. Rower now. Can he do? I'm going to have to find the ball forward. Rafinha, out wide. Jelovic. Jelovic, what can he do? He's not really who I want there, is it? Jelovic. And then that'll be poked forward to Rower, who tries to chest it down. If he, It was a good take from him as well. If he could just get the ball down there and fire off the shot, I'm sure that could have been 1-0 leads. Smith Rowe now, charging forward. I'll use the opposition to help me out a little bit. Smith Rowe. Does great there. Fires off the shot. Straight at Rui Patricio, though. Fortunately for me. Too central. Cresswell will win it back, though. I'll put that back across to Smith Rowe. Rowe now. Finds Rafinha. 1-0 leads. It is 1-0 leads. What a goal for Rafinha. Oh, what a finish that is. Beautiful play in the end. Rowe with the assist. And we needed that one, boys. Yes, we needed that one. Finally, we finished past the goalkeeper in this episode. Roa's knock-on was fantastic, and I knew I was always going to smash that with Rafinha. Well, there. Fires that one forward. Roa's done fantastically to get himself on it. Rafinha's coming in. And it's a weird touch from the goalkeeper there. Can we keep it in with Cooch? We can. It will be our throw-in, though. We're putting Wolves under pressure now. I want more than one goal to uh, make this one a little bit safer. Cooch now will find Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe will lift that one up towards Rowe. Just couldn't get there. Lissama now will fire that one across and we just can't get it in. And we're really causing them a few problems now. Wolves really causing them a few problems. Smith Rowe. Rowe again touches it on to Rafinha, who does actually manage to get a shot away. I'm not quite sure how, but he does. That was nice. Uh, a nice idea again. Rafinha is making a run. Rafinha. Oh my God. Oh, that was lovely from Rower. Lovely idea, lovely play. Just no end product in the end. Rafinha just couldn't quite get to it. Well, there we go. Ladies and gents, it'll be half time here. 1-0 to Leeds United. It's actually been a very even game. It's been a very close game. But we're in front. That's bad again from them. Rower now. Not a bad touch from Rower. We'll find his feet in the end. Jelovic just couldn't find his. And we're putting them under a lot of pressure this second half. They're making a lot of mistakes. Smith Rowe across to Rowe. Can't find him. Can't find him. But again, this immense pressure that we're putting them under at the moment, as that was interesting from Joe Willock, um, is paying dividends. Adama Traore now, though, can run at us. But luckily for me, Robin Cock does fantastically defensively there. Well, double sub for us. Rowe off. Doku on. Taylor on. Lissama off. Just needed a little bit more security and fresh legs up top as well to try and find the second goal to kind of just end this game, kill this game off. Would be nice. We've run around like madmen. It'd be nice to just end this one now because while it's only one, the game is still on. Joe Willock, Joe Willock I was going to say, if it didn't touch the back, well, clip the back heels there of Smith Rowe. We've kind of just been stopped a little bit now. The, the flow of the game has gone a little bit. Cooch now. Trying to find Doku. Couldn't find him. Pedro Neto coming forward now. What can he do? Cresswell, for some strange reason, made a, a really weird run there. But luckily for us, we get away with it. It was a horrendously tight angle for him to try and get anything from it. We will move the ball forward now with Willock. Willock will then return it to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe now. What can he do? Needs options. 
He chose one, and it didn't come off. Well, Adama Traore is going to come off. Patrick Catrone on. He could cause problems. We know this. I think the biggest situation now for me is that we kind of need to hold this 1-0 lead. We've played very well in this game, and I don't feel like we will, will lose the lead. The issue is, it only takes one moment, Smith Rowe, there. It's gone, the game's got a bit stale. The match has got a little bit stale like this. You kind of know that there's just going to be one or two moments left in the match where it could all go wrong for me. Let's hopefully pray that this isn't that moment as the ball will be lofted forward towards Pedro Neto. Semedo now. And Cooch will get it away. Lovely. Very late in the game now. Throwing for Wolves. Catrone. He's caused me problems in the past. Will win a free kick in a dangerous position. And this will surely be the last opportunity they're going to get. There's a few handbags there. This is going to be the last opportunity here of the game, I imagine. It's going to go Wolves' way. Let's see what happens. I'm nervous about this now. See what happens. Neves will whip this one in. Calvin Phillips will clear it away. Oh, and Rafinha needed to get to that, didn't he? There's still a chance to get it away. And surely, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, another victory for this season. It's another 1-0, unfortunately. We couldn't score more. Wolves were a difficult side to play against. But a 1-0 victory thanks to that beautiful goal from Rafinha. Another transfer offer here for Leif Davis. And I think we've reached a point where at 67 rated, he's probably not going to get given any game time. Not enough anyway for him to progress. So we will let him go. It, it just makes sense. I've got four left backs at the moment. Because the Bok was supposed to go. And he never went. So we've got four left backs. So there's no need for four. I'd prefer to only have two, to be honest with you. With the amount of injuries you get, you don't need more than like two left backs, two right backs, four centre backs. You know, a backup for each position, basically. Similar lineup to the last one. Obviously, the change is Rodrigo's going to come in, but Rowe keeps his spot. Smith Rowe keeps his spot. We're going to play Greg Taylor in this one as well. <sighs> Three at the back. Three at the back. Come on, Moisey. Come on, Moisey. Who's that up top, by the way? Isham. Isham Madov. Isham Shomadov. Nailed it. Nailed it. So, yeah, West Ham, difficult task. Um, I'm intrigued why ryan fredericks is really bad but i believe it's because he's a right back and not a left back i think we could beat this side i think we could beat them there's some decent players on the bench though that they can bring on i'd love to get another win it'd be great wouldn't it two wins again i think it just shows great improvement from us if we could pick up two wins the loss against fulham was frustrating but still it, it's better than last season we drew so many games last season the sides that we need to be beating let's beat them such a Michael Owen statement. The sides that we need to beat, let's beat them. Then we'll, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It is the most perfect day for us, apparently, according to the uh, commentators. Obviously, there was the big man, Shema Dobodov, and uh, we've got to watch out for him today. He's, he, well, I don't know if he's good. I've got to be honest, but he's 80 rated, so that instantly makes me believe he's good. They will kick this one off. Oh, he's wearing black boots. I hate that. Just all black boots. I don't mind black boots. But just all black boots. Ugh, I don't know. I was always put off them as a kid. So I was like, no, I want fancy patterns on boots. I don't know why. Will Roa get to that? He will not. We probably will go on the attack at some stage in this game. I'm not going to start on the attack, though. I want to be a little bit more frugal. Wanted to use that word. Word of the day. Anyway, Ben Rama, a player who we might look at at some point. I'm kind of happy with the wingers to some degree. Suleimana frustrates me in patches because, yes, I think he should score more. Wow, that was good from him. And Lanzini will try and fire off a shot. But I don't feel like it's particularly a position where we're weak. We've now got depth as we brought in Roa. <laughs> There's positions that I think we should focus on beforehand and all around just improving this team. I think maybe in, in certain areas that I wouldn't expect to improve them in, especially physically and maybe in pace in the back line. We struggle. We, we like to play aggressive, but then we don't have any answer. And we need to have an answer with the counter-attack, really, don't we? I think that's probably where we fall short at the moment. Rower now will probably try and chip that one in. He will. There's no probably about it, but Cardoso is equal to it. Greg Taylor tries to play that forward to Rower. It wasn't good, but we've ended up back on the ball anyway. Allen now. Smith row out wide to Cooch. And this is our problem. They're closing us. That Look at that. That's the striker here pressing us in their half. That's how deep they're playing right now. It's very strange. It's very strange because they're playing on the attack, but obviously they've set up to get as many bodies back as possible when being attacked against, which I just don't know. I'm, I'm not against it because I'd do that, but it's just frustrating for me. 
It's frustrating for me. Let's see if we can break them down. I'm going to try and put them under pressure now. And the pressure is told. Rodrigo! It's got to be 1-0. Oh. Maybe he should have tried to curl that around him. Phillips. Rodrigo. Rower! Tries to curl it in. It was a nice idea. Just didn't quite get the connection we wanted on it. Rafinha there. Finds Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe tries to play it straight down the throat. Smith Rowe's going to get it back for 1-0 Leeds United. And it's Emile Smith Rowe with the goal. I said I needed more for my camps this season, and that is exactly what I need from them. The London boy himself as well. It was great play. I mean, his pass there to Rodrigo wasn't the one I really wanted, but Rodrigo's wise enough to play it back, and Smith Rowe slots it home for 1-0 at Leeds United. Rafinha now. Oh, that's lovely play. Cooch. It's got to be a good ball in. It's not a bad ball in. Greg Taylor. He's making his way forward. But, I mean, when you heard me shouting out Greg Taylor, did any of you think that he was going to score that? Tell me, honestly. Did any of you think? For any second there when I went, Greg Taylor. Do you think that was going in the back of the net? No. Half time, one goal to the good for Leeds United. And I think we thoroughly deserve it. We're definitely the better side here against West Ham. I think they'll come at us a little bit more in the second half, though. Well, Sebastian Hilaire instantly has come on for them, which is a shame. I feel like Hilaire and Shamadov should... And the Russian striker play very similar styles of football. From what I saw, pump the ball long, get it to him. Tall, good header of the football by the looks of it. So we'll see what... If they change how they play with Hilaire on the pitch, but... I'm kind of not expecting them to, just simply because I think Halal's a very similar player and Rodrigo's going to find himself with the ball in the end, is he? No, he's not. Well played from Federicks there. Really well played. Phillips, that was good. Rodrigo needs a bit of help though, doesn't he? He can hold it up well. Cooch will lift it in towards Rower. Ogbonna's in there though. Calvin Phillips now will nudge it forward. Cooch, can he do? Needs a bit of help, doesn't he? He's trying to get it just across field. He couldn't, and it's ended up finding its way to Halar. But luckily for us, Calvin Phillips is there. Super duper Calvin Phillips. Rafinha now from distance. Oh, stings the goalkeeper's hands, though. Really stings the goalkeeper's hands. Nice. I'll let him have those kind of shots. Some tired legs out there. So, on comes Sulemana and Dejan Jelovic. Rodrigo's been all right. Mixed season so far for him, I think. He hasn't really found his, his goal-scoring prowess. Is that the word for that? Yeah, I'm going to go with it. Hasn't really found his goal-scoring prowess of recent. So we will wait and see. But I think Jelovic being given game time, there's nothing wrong with that. He looked tasty in his first game there for us. Jelovic now. Wants to run a Sulemana. He got it. I mean, it's not a bad ball, is it? It's just what Sulemana could do with it. He keeps it in, and he whips it across. Straight at Cadoso, though, unfortunately. Nice play, though. Good ball from Jelovic. I didn't know he had that kind of passing range, but I'll take that all day long. Free kick in a very dangerous position here. And we all know that Lanzini can hit them. Well saved by Meslier in the end. Oh, we needed that. The Rama coming forward now. Up against Lorente. Will be allowed to lift it in to Sebastian Haller. And oh my god, that's side netting. I thought for a brief moment that was back of the net, but it's side netting. Well, there we go, ladies and gents. It will be another victory, and it is a story of 1-0s, but I'll take it all day long. It's another win this season, a game that we most certainly would have drawn last season if we hadn't have lost it. I'm going to take that all day long. I'm very happy with that result. So with the results in this one, that will see us sign fifth. So two losses this season, four wins, no draws, and... Although I'd rather not have the two losses, and one of them was to Fulham. And I probably would have rather had a draw there. I'm really happy with that. We're in fifth. This is where we want to be, this kind of area at the end of this season, up in that top seven anyway. We're in fifth. That's, I think that's the first time we've ever been fifth in this save. I genuinely do. The next episode won't be as easy, although we will take on Norwich in the Cup, which I would really like to progress a little bit. Newcastle in the league, a man united in the league. That's a big one, and they haven't got off to the greatest of starts this season. I'm feeling less 
Less worried now about losing to Man City. They're top of the table with 18 points already. They're doing all right, aren't they? But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I appreciate the support as per usual. If you're new around here, hit subscribe, smash the like button, do all those good things. I appreciate you. See you later. See you in the next one, where hopefully we beat Man United 5-0. Take it easy.